and carrot, broccoli and coconut, peaches, apples, apricot, red fruit, jack fruit, sour sap, pistachios, no shoes and almonds, walnut, peanut, also pecan, sesame seeds, some flour, lemon, orange, pineapple and melon. I had a pounding headache, over now at least. Um, Japan see a few like vegan issues that um, we haven't really experienced before. Not even vegan issue. I find it as a big problem that there are too many tourists there. Well, now they're open for a fall and people are flocking in. There's just so many Chinese and American tourists there. It's actually bothering me. They treat us equally and um, thus they just switch to English when I'd rather speak Japanese. It's just really annoying. Even more annoyingly, Japan was, as I've said many times, late to the game when it came to veganism. So, many places, not all of them, but many places that have vegan options. While tourists flock to those places, they're fully booked, we have to reserve, and some places there's just a long queue outside. It's just so annoying. I flipped out yesterday. Well, the last point is not the tourists' fault. It's Japan's. Like, they should have seen this coming. And um, Japan should have changed earlier. But there was like a total media blackout on veganism for too long. And then they figured out that that would sooner or later bite them really hard in the buttocks. We were sick of uh, the city, so we just had to go out, so we went to the end station. Or it was the fact that uh, this place is called Kurama and uh, being a total Naruto fans, both of us, we just had to go here. It says Kurama Temple over there. That's where we're entering. Wow. So we corrected me and said it's a vegan. Look at this, it's amazing. I guess this is the drink menu. Yeah. So, yeah, seemingly it is vegan. Uh, it has no other ingredients. Fantastic. That was surprising. That was amazing. Yeah, it's uh, the level of uh, the uh, last place we went to, uh, like a um, temple restaurant. Yeah. But this is a whole lot cheaper. <laughs> Heading up the stairs, we're staring the way up. Oh. And I'm also staring the way up. What was really special to me was that the catacombs underneath were public, so you could actually go there. 
and this very weird little atmosphere having dead people on each side it felt really strange and almost like pressuring in a way so having a shelf on each side with ashes on them and walking what looked like a labyrinth it was really special I must say Continue. I, I do want to continue, but I, I don't know if I should. Yeah. Um, what I could do is just run the entire way up and then go down. Maybe you could just continue the way you want to go and then uh, meet you when I'm on the way back. Yeah, maybe, and then we just go back. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the best solution right now. I think so too, unfortunately. Yeah, really sad that you can't go to the end of the path, but I mean, what can we do? We shouldn't press it too much. No. Surprisingly, it wasn't really that far after I left with my so I just hope that she comes after me quite soon. I tried to call her on the phone. You're doing well? I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, and now you're really struggling. Yeah, I, I uh, uh, kept going after we split up and I went too far until I just couldn't go anymore and then I turned back. I, I actually walked longer than you did. Yeah. We, we didn't pass each other because I was waiting for you up at the top and then you just passed me and then I, then I ran down and then... Yeah, because there's two paths at the top and you took the one and I took the other. Yeah. It was so beautiful, I couldn't stop myself until my... <coughs> pups. <laughs> We thought we would have to get out here uh, about 5 o'clock because yeah. um, then it closes, but yes, it closes, so nobody's here, so people are walking in and out as they want because there's nobody here. <laughs> we wasted a thousand yen. <laughs> we wasted a thousand yen when we could just take an evening stroll here because you're allowed to enter. <laughs> Indian Day, new possibility. Uh, there is supposedly a vegan restaurant inside of this hall. Looks delicious. Hope, hope it's open and not fully booked. <laughs> it happens to us too much. Ooh. All vegan. It's not vegan friendly though, it's technically vegan. I recently changed opening hours, we won't reach it in time. Too bad. No worries, we're heading out here. There should be another vegan restaurant right around the corner. Okay, there. There we go. Let's enter, hopefully. I might come back. Hopefully. This looks fantastic. No, that needed um, not necessarily a reservation but there was a waiting list <laughs> no way so we were told they have vegan options amazing if it's true though 
Just check in here it says We found on the hard place the same since everything else was full booked. Yeah. We didn't have to reserve for this one. No. We're excited because the one vegan option they have is Dalbat. You grew up with Dalbat due to your uh, grandfather going to Nepal. Are you excited now? Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite dishes. <laughs> so much traffic the other places here. There's like two other people here. Wow! Why is no one here? We're going to a theater, which I'm obviously not going to film, uh, but <laughs> uh, I think it will be interesting. Yeah, I think so too. Although I can't bring it with me. Yeah. Yeah, I just from the paper so so don't film anything inside. Okay. So first thing I answer correctly to different things, but it says different things in Japanese and in English. So how many people visited today? And I like a 72 question mark because that's the total amount. And in Japanese ask how many we are. And uh, that's two. Another is uh, where is that? It's asked for gender. There I said uh, non-binary. <laughs> that's not what I expect uh, of an answer. And I also ask. Uh, what made I decide to come? And I said, um, because the actors are sexy. Luckily they allowed photos afterwards, so I filmed the set, <laughs> well, that was absolutely wild. Uh, the calligraphy, everything is just so on point. I'm impressed. We walked over to this place, there's a list. Is it like a full list? So you veg option place here. We uh, took the bus a little uh, to buy some bread. Oh, this isn't it. I got it all in the, yes. in the backpack. I forgot. No, um, we needed some dessert. So we didn't get that other place. Uh, they didn't have food, which was not what we wanted. They have dessert. They have orange juice. They have oat latte. They got dessert for you too. You are very happy. Now. Oh. Some salted bread, something that I don't really know what it is. Two little biscuits. And two whole breads together with some blueberry jam. That'll be jammed up all the way. Uh, three plates of chocolate. And this soy joy with the taste of uh, some citrus fruit and nuts and uh, white chocolate. And why do we bring this? Well, because we're going somewhere uh, tomorrow. That is far away from where uh, tourists would go. It's like one of those hidden pearls that we figure out that does exist. Yeah, this is the walkie-talkie that broke. It so happened to be that. Oh, they only managed to repair it somehow. No idea how she did it, but she made it work. It's a woman. I didn't expect a woman to do it better than me because. Women can't do half what men can do. It's confusing. The uh, the line does not correspond. Just different names, but we we are in the right place. Yeah, to Tokaido Sanyo line. Yeah, and that's that's Miyako line. Eh? It makes no sense.
Well, next train is a pretty old one. They don't even take any IC card. Not even Eco card, they don't take Pita Pa. It's <laughs> just you have to have big for tickets. It's actually really thick as well. Like really hard. It's cool. I'm glad that we managed to find vegan bread. Does it taste okay? Yeah. Does it actually taste? It won't taste great with hair in my mouth. Yeah. Mm, good quality. I think we found the place. Sadly, as soon as we walked out of the uh, train station, uh, I could feel some drops. Yeah. Yep, as soon as we walked out, um, we see this. Uh, well, even the exit of the um, train station had like this uh, shrine paper things over it. Interesting. This entire path is holy. Like, this is the first time uh, I've experienced walking outside of a train station and as soon as we're outside, we're in a holy place. <laughs> there must be something interesting about that. opened up oh not that badly but here starts to climb actually I would like to find one of these like really old parts that hasn't been like uh, touristified so I could just walk some kind of stretch like this that isn't like really pre-made or we walked a trail like that in it too didn't we <laughs> <laughs> we did. I was born in the year of the monkey, so I uh, put a coin on top of this monkey's head. You're born in the cow, right? Yay. What's the last one there? I don't know. What? Yeah. No. The mouse is here, I think. I mean, it was really great. Oh, music. Well, what I was about to say, it was really great to find those Chinese zodiacs. I mean, this must be one of the most holy sites of Shintoism. Most people don't know that this exists. There's no tourists whatsoever. Only maybe local that's people. What keeps it holy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like this doesn't look very Japanese, it seems like it's formed by Galatia. <laughs> Most of Japan is just volcanic. Um, but yeah, we went off the main path a little. So I wanted to check the other paths. I don't think we should go here. Either. No. 
Definitely not. <laughs> oh, this is the path. And here comes the thing. The path goes through the mountain. This is the place. Wow. Can't really go through with umbrella, but uh, the rain is pouring through. Oh. Made it through. Great. That was interesting, and uh, no other foreigners. Well, there were tourists there, handful, and they're all Japanese. However, there is a shrine far away from the others, but it's a part of these shrines, if you see what I mean. It's still the uh, Aga Shrine, but still quite a distance away. <laughs> figured there was some kind of shortcut through this bamboo forest. And there is a holy side here that not many people see. How is it to just find things nobody else sees? Nice. <laughs> I mean, this is way more impressive than the places we have to pay to go in Kyoto. <laughs> well, this is absolutely wild and nobody knows it exists. Well, there's some tourist buses. Um, this is rice fields. We came from that direction, um, taking some shortcuts and everything. We're going down this route though, although it seems like uh, this path is going on. Sadly, we're not going there, we're going down there. Well, a little bit change of plans. Uh, the way into the forest is actually the shortest way we figured. <laughs> about for some lunch. Good thing that we found that bakeries as uh, soon as we entered that part of the city. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait to have some proper bread again. Like I haven't eaten that since we uh, went to that uh, bakery in uh, Osaka. Yeah that's, yeah, that's true actually. I mean the sheer size of yeah. these I've slices. Eaten mine. You can yeah. see <laughs> yeah. The size. It just <laughs> it's so huge. <laughs> as big as it's for your face. <laughs> I think we're there. Like, well, well, what else could it be? This one is even more hidden than the last one. Wow. It feels really alive as well. There's definitely things walking around in here. Don't really know what. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. There it is. The last one of them all. Huh. Some offerings, but it's all locked up. I think that in old days of Japan, they didn't lock them up at all. <laughs> Are you headed into this little trail here? just because you like it. Oh wow, it looks fantastic! <laughs> uh, I think this was the actual trail through the forest. Oh, we should have gone through, but we didn't. 
think we're going backwards now. Yeah, I just want to look down here anyways. Uh, this trail goes back, hence where we came. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, there was a uh, place where we could um, eat. And that I like. Now we're heading out. We're heading all the way out. All the way out. And then to the train station and then back to uh, Kyoto. There's a little overview of a uh, park underneath. <laughs> All the things that you find, as soon as you just allow yourself to get out there to somewhere where you don't know. That's how you figure out, well, the uh, Aga Shrine is basically somewhere that we um, went uh, knowingly, but uh, this place, we had no idea. I only saw that there was a, a separate uh, piece of the Aga Shrine that was over here. What's this? Uh, an old trail that is demolished. And there might actually be in a uh, shrine here at some point. I mean, Shiga Prefecture isn't the most visited, but... Couldn't you imagine that there would be a heck of a lot of tourists here if they knew about this place? Yeah, but I think it's maybe a good thing that... There aren't many tourists, yeah. Yeah, because this can't hold as many tourists as the rest of Kyoto. This isn't Kyoto. Yeah, but the parts we have been to. Yeah. Well, we've been walking now for uh, hours. How's your car <coughs> doing? Tired. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, it feels weird. It's tired. I, it's better. To, feels better to sit down. Uh, it's been okay most of the day, but now I've like I have felt this for a while now. We have to pick a ticket, and after that we um, just check where we are. Once we figure out where we are, then we need to look at a uh, timetable to assess how much money we should pay when we reach the station. And if you're not at the end station, well, then we have to pay it on the train. Um, it's really uh, telling that we're Norwegians because we can really tell that uh, there is an earthquake going on. It's not like really visible, but you feel it. The rest is sitting here like nothing is happening. <laughs> now at the station we found these. It's, it's like, put it on the eyelids to get more like western eyes. Question, do you see this as cultural appropriation? We decided to be colorful, to order things with different colors. I think we did okay. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that was so delicious and I'm so full. But to be honest, we had to return a couple of the dishes because... I said vegan. He told them no cream, no butter, no, uh, yeah, whatever. Cheese. No, that was the thing. He didn't say cheese. So he added paneer. Therefore, we had to return them and wait for the, the last one. Things like this does happen, but it's a long time ago since last. Yeah, probably a one-time mistake, though. Probably a one-time mistake, but then... They're probably a little bit more cautious next time a vegan shows up. Yeah.